Something once nearly eliminated in the U.S. is making a return with a vengeance. More than 18,000 cases of whooping cough have been reported so far this year, and nine babies have died. Erica Edwards has more. If you would fill the purple sheet out. People in the state of Washington are filling health clinics and rolling up their sleeves to get a whooping cough booster shot. There have been more than 3,000 cases of the illness reported in that state alone, more than triple the amount from last year. It's really important for teenagers and all adults to get the booster shot. Other states are seeing higher than normal activity too, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. It's of epidemic proportions, this is the largest number of cases we've seen really since the 1950s. Many of the cases are in 10 year olds who got the whooping cough vaccine as children, but haven't yet received the booster shot recommended at age 11. Kids who are 10 years of age, about three in 10 kids is still susceptible despite having been vaccinated. But doctors are also seeing a high number of cases in young teens who got the booster. They say the shot still works, but maybe not as well as they thought. It looks now like the protection is wearing off, but we're not sure exactly to what degree. The most vulnerable are those who are too young to be vaccinated. More than half of infants with the illness need to be hospitalized like baby Marco. We even had him um, baptized because we just we didn't think he was going to make it. The CDC recommends all caretakers, no, especially safe. mothers, get a whooping cough booster shot. That was Erica Edwards reporting. Children with whooping cough have an uncontrollable violent cough that makes it hard to breathe. They may also have a slight fever and flu-like symptoms. Parents who notice those symptoms should have their child checked out right away.